Hello and welcome. My name is Ryan Demer with 360 Works, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to use the 360 Works Scribe plugin. Let's get started. On this first tab, it's just going to walk you through on how to install the plugin for Mac and Windows, um, how to ensure that the plugin is installed, and then also how to install the plugin in um, Web Publishing Engine as well as in FileMaker Server. Uh, on the next little tab here, this basically just gives you a way to check in your startup script to make sure that the plugin is installed and enabled. Um, it's just an if statement that checks for the version of Scribe, and if it returns a question mark, it shows you a prompt that says it's not installed. This next tab is going to show you how to handle errors, and generally, um, when uh, calling our functions, you can check and see if the uh, function returns error and shows a custom, if it does show an error, it shows a custom dialog and then this function scribe last error will show you the last error. Uh, this next thing will just show you how to register the uh, plugin with uh, a script and you just call the register function supplying your license information and you check and make sure that the register, uh, the register uh, function returns a one. If it does, you return the license info and else um, you show the error if there was an error. Okay, on to our demo examples. Now, there's a lot to cover here, um, so I won't go super in-depth to everything, but basically these top tabs are going to be your main functionality with Scribe, and then there'll be sub-tabs in some of these that kind of give you um, a more granular look at it. Um, the number one use case for Scribe is reading and writing to documents, um, and this first tab is going to show you how to do a find and replace. Um, it basically uh, gives you just a document. It says put in your um, the text that you want to find and um, what you want to replace it with, you click the button, it'll um, replace it, bring the file over here, and then you can hit open file to view um, the modified file. Our next thing here is going to be um, reading from a text document. You can basically uh, get the document as text. Um, you supply it into a container field, and uh, we hit get document as text, and there it is. There's the text. Our next tab here is going to be extracting field names. Um, this is uh, helpful with, uh, when trying to write to a PDF. This can uh, get it, give you a list of uh, any named uh, fields. In a docx, it will return any placeholder tags, and in a uh, Excel, it will return a list of sheets. Um, in this example, it uh, is going to pull the uh, names of the fields for a PDF. So if you hit extract fields, there's our list of fields. You can then go and use that with scribe.write value with your field names to write to those specific fields. Uh, the next tab, extract field. Um, this is basically going to um, return the, um, the contents of, of what you specify here. So if a PDF, you're going to return the content of a specified field, returns the contents of a tag, um, and returns the contents of a cell. In our example here, you supply, this is an Excel file, you supply the sheet name, which in this uh, in this example is sheet one, separated by an exclamation part, point, and then the actual cell name, and then that'll pull what is actually in the uh, the cell itself. On this next one, we're going to write to a field, and what this does is kind of what I was alluding to in um, in the extract field names example is. Once you've extracted your field names, you can supply that with the scribe back write value and then give it a value to write into that field. So in this example, it's going to write 360 works, scribe wrote this into the name last field. Um, click that, fill in your field, and then you'll open your file and see it. The next thing is going to be uh, reading and writing to Word tables. Uh, this is similar to how you would uh, do this with an Excel file as well you are essentially going to apply, um, supply a table and cell name, so your table name separated by an exclamation point, and then your cell, and then this, will, this is your value, this is the table cell, um, and you fill in your field, open your file, and you'll see it written into your table. Our next thing is going to be rel uh, read, cell meta ugh, read cell metadata, and um, here you can get some more information about the Excel file um, you can get how many rows are part of it, how many columns you have. Um, that's your, your, your farthest over column. You can find cell comments, um, background colors, and your range. Um, and then our last tab here is reading and writing uh, PDF metadata. 
uh, kind of the same deal here. We can uh, supply a PDF metadata for read value and then we can also write that value back to the PDF using write value. Um, again, click your button and you can open your file to see what happens there. Uh, On to our next major tab here, finding keywords. Um, Scribe Fireless keywords will essentially try to, uh, it's kind of similar to Scribe Fireless text, but it with Scribe Fireless keywords it's going to pick um, uh, more important words uh, to, to return instead of just the, the complete fileless text. So get list of words, um, it's going to kind of give us just the keywords here. Uh, the same deal here with the PDF, it kind of just strips out a lot of um, unimportant uh, words and just kind of gives you the gist of the file here. Uh, the next major tab here is highlighting text. Um, this is a pretty cool feature. You can uh, you can supply a block of text, and then if you want to highlight a certain um, words or list of words or um, how, whatever you want to highlight, you can supply the uh, the the word that you want to highlight, and then uh, run the function, and it will highlight your uh, your words. Now that gets a little bit more uh, in depth when you can use um, regex, and so here. Um, kind of the same deal. We're going to supply our highlight pattern and when you click the button it kind of highlights whatever was inside your brackets here. Our next uh, major feature here is going to be find differences and this is also a pretty cool feature. You can supply uh, two different bodies of text to try and find uh, differences or modifications or things that have been added or deleted from it and you can actually stylize that text um, with uh, scribe style added text, scribe, uh, scribe style deleted text or scribe style modified text and this basically um, lets you say okay anything that's added let's make it this color with this style um, and the same thing for deleted and for modified um, and uh, just down here in the example file we can find differences and you'll see that it it highlights, uh, you know, everything that was deleted in red, um, added in blue, and our modifications. Uh, our next, uh, our next tab here is pattern find, and it's similar as well, but this time we're going to supply some regex that we're looking for, and uh, it basically will. All, uh, we're looking for numbers zero through nine, so when we do get pattern text. It pulls out anything that matches our pattern here. So 1, 2, 3, 5, 3, 2, 1, 0, 1, 2, 1. Our next major thing here is uh, pattern replace. So now we're going to give it a pattern and then we're going to replace this. So in our sentence here, the quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog. We're going to remove quick and make it very fast. And there you go, the very fast uh, brown fox jumped over the lazy dog. Uh, and there's also some more examples here if you want to um, click in here and, and get a little bit more in depth and just see some more ways of how to use the, um, the pattern replace. Uh, our next feature here is going to be appending to PDFs. And what you can do here is you can take a PDF, load it with Scribe, um, append a new page to it, and then you can write to it, write text, and then also write an image. So this example here will um, load the document add a second page to that document and then write, hi, look at this PDF and um, add this image to it. And then our last example here, inserting images. Um, again, this is a, just a way to add an image to a PDF. You can also do this with um, Scribe Doc Replace and um, with images in a Word document. Um, but for this example here, this is using a PDF, so you're going to use Scribe Doc Write Value. Um, you use this special function here, add image, and add uh, your image into a container field and put that uh, field reference there where you want it, the X and Y uh, values, and then the width of the height of the image that you want to write here. And then you click your button and open your file and your image will be replaced in, or placed in there at your specified coordinates. And that's pretty much it for um, the scribe example file. Um, thank you for watching and have a nice day.